Greetings. Hi, John. Welcome. So, welcome to my home and studio. I'm John Dykes. I'm a illustrator, an illustrator and artist. And uh, my wife Patty and I have been living here for a little over two years and we've been loving it. And we'll take a little tour of the studio and the, and the home. So this building was uh, a former lithography factory um, and uh, it was uh, built in 1900. Um, so you get a lot of these great um, uh, solid wood beam post and brick construction, which uh, adds a lot of uh, character, which we just love. The building was um, uh, bought by a number of artists in uh, the early 80s and uh, turned into a co-op. And so the different artists at the time renovated parts of their studios and, and uh, the artists also were able to get a waiver um, or a, um, yeah, I guess a waiver to uh, include um, residents uh, within the building because prior to that you couldn't live here. So that was a big, a big uh, plus for, for the artists. Um, this neighborhood, Fort Point, is uh, uh, pretty well known for uh, being an artist community and, and being in, uh, an artist community for, for quite a number of years. Uh, so it's nice to uh, um, keep that keep that going, keep that alive. We'll take a quick walk in the uh, other part of the house. Here's the kitchen. Bedroom in front of the building. There's construction planned for out front, so there's going to be a number of buildings. But along with that, a, a brand new park, so that should be nice. You'll miss the sunsets, but um, you take what you can get. fruit. And we have a few other uh, rooms over here, a den and a guest room, and uh, that gives us some, some room for friends and family to visit. Turn the center room into a uh, into a gallery. And my studio. Um, so when we first visited this uh, this this place a little over two years ago, two and a half years ago, when I walked in the studio, I knew. This was uh, this was really a gem, um, and more than ever, more than I could have uh, hoped for. Um, and I'm glad that everything else fell into place, and, and um, uh, we were excited about uh, um, making the change and moving in. And, um, so the um, my previous studio spaces were inside our home um, homes, um, and. Um, uh, the space was limited, um, and so to be able to move in here, um, I've got plenty of open wall space, uh, so um, I can get back to working large, which uh, I had done earlier on in my career when I had a uh, um, studio in a uh, in an old elementary school down in Westport, Connecticut, uh, and that was great because I had big open wall space and I could work on large charcoal and large paint. And since then, I haven't been able to because of space confinements. Um, but now I'm, I'm back uh, into uh, making a mess and, uh, and having fun at it. I've got my computer section over here set up um, with um, uh, the, everything I 
think I need for uh, um, for working digitally. Um, got this uh, Cintiq monitor, which is uh, um, really wonderful to to work on. And what's that? Uh, this. Uh, this here? Yeah. Uh, just an old tray that uh, I found in a uh, um, found in a uh, yard sale or something. <laughs> I forget what it was. Cool. Yeah. All purpose. Yeah, like a drawer. Um, much of this uh, was built uh, before we came in, so uh, I had uh, plenty of shelf space uh, all set and, and ready to go. enough storage space and um, um, easy access to uh, all the things an artist needs to have on hand. And for storage, which is always uh, necessary, uh, I built this, um, uh, I had to figure out a way to contain um, the uh, I've got stacks and containers of hundreds of illustrations from uh, my 30 plus year career as an illustrator, uh, which I'm looking to uh, share with the public and, and, and sell. Um, so I do that during open studios where I have all these bins of, of uh, illustrations out uh, and available. Um, but I needed somewhere to put things together and get it out of sight and, and, and neaten it up. So this serves uh, a number of purposes. I've got all that. Um, storage back in here and then um, extra uh, table space and here are some of those bins of uh, illustrations that I say hundreds and we go through the years for uh, all sorts of uh, Magazines and newspapers and advertising. Let's see, a little more storage over here. So, uh, it, again, it's helpful to get the stuff off the ground and, and um, uh, organize. Plenty of open open table space, which also is uh, is vital to have. 